Hello students, welcome to my channel Engineers Academy. Now let's solve this problem. In this problem we are required to resolve F1, F3 and F2 forces into its components, right? And it is required to represent these three forces as a Cartesian vector, right? And further it is said that determine the magnitude of the resultant force and its direction, right? So if we resolve this F1 force into its components, right? So it will have one component acting in the positive y direction and similarly it will have one component which will be acting in the positive x direction right so this component will be f1 x and this one will be f1 y right and the angle of f1 with the positive x axis is is given in the form of this triangle right so if if we draw the triangle here right so this the hypotenuse of this triangle is 5 the perpendicular is 4 and this is 3 so let's say that we are looking into this angle, right? So let's say if this angle is theta, right? So then in this triangle, this angle is also theta. So if this angle is theta, so this means that F1 acts as the cos component, right? So we can write that F1 x is equal to F1 cos of theta and F1 magnitude is 50, right? So we can add this F1 cos of theta. And cos of theta from this triangle is base divided by hypotenuse, right? So we can write that this is 50 into 3 divided by 5, right? So we can find this. So this is uh, 50 into 3 divided by 5. So this is 30, right? So F1 x is 30 newtons. Similarly, F1 y is acting in the positive y direction right and it is the sine component if this is the angle theta so we can write that this is 50 sine of theta so this is 50 and from this triangle sine of theta is perpendicular divided by hypotenuse right so we can write that this is 4 divided by 5 right so 50 into 4 divided by 5 so this is 40 right 40 newtons so we can represent we can write that f1 as a cartesian vector so f1 vector will be equal to f1 x i plus f2 uh, sorry f1 y j right so f1 x is 30 so we can write that this is 30 i plus 40 j so this is f1 vector similarly if we resolve this F2 into its components, right, so it will have one component which will be acting in the in negative y direction like this, right, and then we will have one another component which will be acting in the negative x direction, right. So this component will be F2x and this one will be F2y, right, and this angle is given, this angle is 15 degrees, right. So this means that F2y is 80 the f2 magnitude is 80 right so the angle is made with the y axis so this means that f2 y is the cos component so we will write that this is 80 cos of 15 degrees and similarly f2 axis this is 80 sine of 15 degrees right so if i if i write f2 vector so this is f2 x i and this is acting in the negative y direction right so we will have to write minus i with it right and similarly, this F2y is acting in the negative y direction, so I will write minus F2yj, right? So we can find F2x, so this is 80 sine of 15 degrees, so this is 20.71, so I will write minus 20.71i minus this is 80 cos of 15 degrees so this is 77.27 right so i will write 77.27 j right so this is f2 vector and similarly if we look into this f3 so it is acting in only in the positive x direction so we can write that f3 vector is equal to f3 x i plus f3 y j so f3 x is equal to f3 right so it has no f3 y component right so we can write this is 30 i 
and this is 0, right? So now to find the resultant of these three vectors, what we need to do is that we need to find the our x component of the resultant. So our x component of the resultant is equal to the summation of all components in the x direction, right? So this means that our x magnitude will be equal to f1x plus f2x plus f3x, right? So our x, f1x is 30. I will write 30 newtons plus uh, f2x is negative, right? So this is minus 20.79, right? So I will write minus 20.71, right? This f2x is acting in the negative x direction. And similarly, f3x is acting in the positive x direction and it is 30, so I will write plus 30. So now our x is uh, 30 minus 20.71 plus 30. Right, so this is uh, 39.29, right? So our x is 39.29 newtons. And similarly, our y will be equal to the summation of the components along the y axis, right? So this will be f1y plus f2y plus f3y. And similarly, f1y is 40 newtons, right? So I will write 40 plus f2, so this is f2, minus 77.27, so I will write minus 77.27 newtons, and f3y is 0, right, so we will write that this is plus 0, right, so this is minus 37.27 newtons, right, so the resultant magnitude will be our x square plus our y square under the square root. So the our x magnitude is known and our y magnitude is also known. So our x magnitude is 39.29 squared plus this is minus 37.27. So minus 37.27 squared. So this is 54.15, right? So our y is uh, the r magnitude is how much? So this is 54.15 newtons. 54.15 newtons. And if we represent this resultant, right, let's say that this is my positive x and negative y direction, right? So as we can see that the resultant has one component, our x, which is acting in the positive x direction. So let's say that this is our x. And let's say that this is R y. So R y is acting in the negative y direction, right? So this is R y. So if we add both of these components by head to tail rule, if I place it in the tail of R y on the head of R x, and this is R x, and this is R y, right? So the resultant will be from the tail of R x to the head of R y, right? So this is the resultant vector. Right, so in this problem, you are asked to find the angle of the resultant with the positive x axis and the angle need to be measured in the clockwise direction. So let's say this is theta. So now if I, if you want to find this theta, so we can apply tan theta. So tan theta will be equal to Ry divided by Rx and theta will be equal to tan inverse. Ry magnitude is known, right? So we have to only write the magnitude, right? So this is 37.27 and our x is 39.29 so tan inverse 37.27 divided by 39.29 so this is 43.49 right so theta is 43.49 degrees right so this is the resultant magnitude which was required and this is the angle of the resultant with the positive x-axis and this angle is measured in the clockwise direction, right? So this is the solution of this particular problem.